Hey, this is Eddie with the Crippled Hangman. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this video is going to go over uh, all the, the steps that was taken to uh, get our new kitchen granite countertops. And um, so uh, here we go. Let's get, uh, let's get started in the video. And uh, it's going to be more or less uh, the guy coming first to measure, uh, measure up the countertops. All right, let's get started. All right, he's uh, got this machine. What's this machine called? It's just a digital templater. It's a Pro Bim Pro Liner. Okay. Never seen anything like that. Is this for elevation or? No. Yeah, I can template up here if I wanted. Huh. Oh, okay, I see it doing its thing. That's pretty cool. And then the black marks you put down, that's the face of the cabinet. Right. That way there they know exactly how much you cut over. Let me check this out. It's like this, that area.
guys with the wheel. Hey, it's the day before um, for our granite counters to get installed. We, uh, wife and I, we moved the stove, we get emptied the underneath the cabinet and uh, we got everything out of that cabinet we're running the dishwasher now after those dishes are done we'll put them away and uh, let me show you what we did so far as like I said we moved the, the oven clean out under the sink because this all goes once the dishwasher is done I'm going to disconnect everything underneath the sink disposal I think we decided to I don't know, replace it. Don't know how old it is. And, um, yes, yeah, so we put everything over there. They'll come around the back of the house, come through this door. And they should be able to make the sweep with a long piece of the one counter. It's just under 11 foot long, this counter. That's like three feet. And then that's like seven feet. And then another, like, two feet or whatever so but yeah tomorrow morning they're going to tear this out and put the new counters in and this will be the last of this and then we'll have some cool undermount a cool undermount granite composite sink a single bowl and uh, just look at the plumbing underneath i'm going to have the uh, drain on this side just because the uh, the way everything underneath is you know i'll record how that how that works so we'll wait for tomorrow morning we're ready for them okay well this evening Dishes have been cleaned and dishwasher has been emptied. So the last thing I gotta do tonight, I just gotta disconnect the sink, take the sinkerator out, garbage disposal, and uh, that way there when they come, they can rip counters out, rip the sink out, we're gonna get a new sink, new faucet, and it'll be an undermount uh, solid granite single bowl sink. And the drain will be there on the it'll be on the right side. So, so that won't be in the center and uh yeah so i'm gonna get underneath and start getting this all taken apart before tomorrow so i can get that extra 25 minutes to whatever i don't know what time they start but uh yeah i want to get my part out of the way before they start so let's get to it and let's get started on this uh removal of the pipes and disconnecting the water lines and all that stuff shouldn't take too long let's get to it Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to shut off the water lines, and, uh, oh, it's off. These are just a 90 degree turn on those. That's off, that's off. All right, let's get a little get a screwdriver. What else do I need? Um... Oh, I got channel locks, crescent wrench, got a little cup, a little bowl, so whatever water comes out, um, we're going to let the pressure off. Maybe that's, okay. All right.
that's the cold water. Outside, come on. cold side. I'm going to unplug the sink disposal and then I'm going to disconnect the drain to the dishwasher. Very simple. Be some water in that. Get this up. Sink it down. All right. Well, that's the sink disposal and um, let's what's in this this is the uh, extension pipe I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this garbage disposal ow don't put your finger where it don't belong disconnect that Disconnect this. That takes care of this extension piece. Well, oh my goodness. There's going to be water in the peat trap. So, um, how do I want to do this? Basically. Okay, that's that. some of this. We'll see with the new garbage disposal, sink disposal. Um, we'll take it. I haven't decided if I want to reuse this or not. Third horsepower plug-in. Like I said, it does work. I want to reuse it again. 
do. Oh, I'll lose these screws. My gasket looks actually pretty good. Come on. That's not good. There we go. That's in. That's in. I don't plan on using any of this. Alright, that's that part. So let me uh show what I got left going on here. So I would have to save every single thing here if I reuse this sink disposal. Um and I'm not sure if all these parts will work again if I keep all of them. Oh, maybe I will. The reason I can't have the drain on this end with a sink disposal because this is where the drain is going through the wall. So I'll buy on this, keep it on this side, same thing, come across, bloop, plop in there. And this has a, the knockout isn't open yet. And that would it'd be where the dishwasher would drain into. So let me uh, get this out of here. I just gotta clean up a little bit, get some parts out. Now, whoop. Looks like a blade to or let's see, wait a minute. See now I think I spin it. There we go. There we go. What's that? Just a twist of roo. Then let's get that to the side. Loosening up these guys. Can't see is it Phillips Foster? There's a ring around this that you got to get out. So you got to get it out to, to pull this down. By the end of it, I'm a flashlight. Let's see. There it is.
is. There's the ring here. And that's what holds all this together. Whee. That's that. Okay, so this is what goes in the sink from down below. That's all plumber's putty. And I would have to uh, just break off. And this goes, so this is the other side of the sink, this goes like this. You would push that up. And then what you would do is you gotta push that piece on a wall. And this ring, you gotta slide it over the top and it will actually hold it from falling. So these are all the major parts that you gotta keep in order to support this. Because that part slides like this and that's pushed down and it rotates and it kind of gets tighter. So that's what holds your sink disposal in. Right now it's not punched out and um, dishwasher would drain into here. Is that how old this is? But it can't be too old. So I'm gonna clean up and uh, and that's uh, getting everything all ready. Now we can tear the sink out. I'm gonna put a rag um, paper towel inside the, the drain and the drain in there so I don't get any gases backing up into the house so that's it now I'm these guys could come rip the sink out turn out all the counters yeah get all these all tore up we're ready for them we're gonna be putting in uh, new granite it's pretty it's a lighter lighter color with some cool pattern but this is tile granite tile i put thumbs down on that if it was me if you can't afford granite just put regular for micro countertops in so you don't have any grout joints and then grout joints are holding bacteria that's my opinion but all right we will see you tomorrow uh, when the guys get here to start demo and uh yeah we'll see you in the morning all right now well, it's the next morning the grant company just called they should be here any minute i just finished shoveling around the whole house because there's no way they're going to get the counters of my stairwell so this i had to show the stairs we got darren snow and then go through the gate and then all the way well down where the other gate is and then all the way around so we can see that all the way around to the dang driveway but at least the guys will he said he has like wheels so they gotta go from the driveway all the way around around this upper deck and then around and in let me just show you why they cannot come up the stairs <clears throat> it's a hard turn you know with granite they could probably bring this counter up but the other ones i can't even get a queen size bed mattress i can't even get a queen size mattress up that stairwell i mean i have plans where i was gonna I rip off the corner of the wall down there point at it, it'll be another project by about 42 inches high and then going down and then this would be all open but I probably won't do that it'd be cool but I won't do that I mean the joists do run from the beam all the way across so that's not an issue so 
All right, we're just waiting for these guys to get here so they could uh, get at it. Well, they made it. Got a bunch of uh, wildlife. I want them to get in my yard. These guys. As long as they don't go inside the fenced area, I don't think it'd be good. But, uh, yeah. All right. And there's a piece. That's the sink side. Yeah. Um, got oh, it much better. You can't play. Awesome. I'm walking outside. We got all these deer. I don't want them coming in here. I know they're eating leaves. But I don't want them coming in the yard. There. You guys stay. Hey, what's up, buddy? Huh? What's up? You can keep eating. All right. Well, I don't want them getting stuck in our yard. And then these guys are trying to work or and then me trying to get them out of the yard. So they're setting up the tarps. I'm going to visit Queen for a demo. I'm going to do probably a hyperlapse for the demo. And uh, yeah. So let's get in there. Um, let's see. Like these guys already got the 10, old stuff. 15 minutes. It didn't take them long at all to take the old stuff off. <laughs> they had little screws. Oh my gosh. That yeah, is they were, they were baby screws. Freaking too. awesome. Wow. Whoop. That's your feet, Eddie. That's pretty awesome. Wow. That's great. And they had, oh, the backsplash too. That was my, I was wondering how that was going to work out. Actually, not too bad. Well, actually, that works out pretty nice. We don't have to do anything with that drywall. Because there's enough meat on the bottom. Yeah. You could just put that dirt all on this one. That's pretty great. Right, they're getting you need to be like really apart from you set up to so that because you got to support that on the mount sink. Your, your bolt, so composite granite. They need to be. And they put uh, technically so you have to go that way. Little, these guys here, I guess, to cinch them up. So you've got your strap piece. We'll see how that goes. And then you're gonna have the bolt. That's gonna cinch it up. So you gotta be like. So does that get it close, Logan? Uh, yeah, well, I you guys are holds it in place, and then um, there's a bolt, and then you just bolt it up, and it cinches it to the granite. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Never seen it done. How much weight can go in these like sinks? I know they said there's no big deal with like hot pots because it's granite. Like you take a pot out off the stove, you can put it right into the sink. Uh, I'm not too sure. Like 50 pounds? I don't think um, that should tell you your instructions there. It's like your manual and stuff that you get. It should tell you the max capacity. Got it. So, I mean, each thing's going to be different. It's going to be the style, the type of composite. Got it. So, Got it. We've done 
top, uh, hammer top of the sink. That's that's gorgeous. Those yeah, are cool. Are the rights. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just a cut there. Yeah. This should hopefully miss the screw. Oh yeah. I got a jitterbug. Yeah, we got a that's what they call it in Alaska. Right, the oscillating tool. They call it oh, the oscillating, they call oh. it a jitterbug. We got, we, so I had a guy call it a little male vibrator. <laughs> yeah, that they call that a jitterbug in Alaska. I'm like, what what I go, you gonna do a dance for me? <laughs> we call that a jigsaw. <laughs> That's a, that's a jitterbug. Yeah. That's a jigsaw. Okay. All right. You know, I'm up for new things. You know? guy, that's yeah. Cool. These guys are just going to cut the corners to get some room. All right. I'm dealing with like. 500 plus pounds. Very heavy. All right. Very heavy. Have a two man deadlift. Right. Okay, uh, ready to we grab our cups. Lay it down. Hang on, please. I'm ready. Okay. You ready, Cameron? Yep. Watch your bar. Watch your bar. Watch your bar off there. Wow. There's nothing light. No, no, no. Nothing light. These guys are doing everything to okay, you get it up over that little bar post thing in the back. Might need a small fry bar. There's a small ledger board in the back. Oh boy. Changes the whole kitchen look. I love it. It's great. Yeah. All right. As you can see, they got the big piece in. It's like 500 some pounds that first piece, and that's with the seam cut out. We went with a single bowl sink. Let's check that out. It's one big bowl. And this is what we wanted. And then we just have the sink deal coming up. The spout. Uh, of course, it's Kohler. Nothing but the, I wouldn't say the best, but they're a very competent company. It's a, it's a cool, very cool sink for that, for uh we're just really happy with this. It's already making the kitchen look just wow. The colors are amazing. We are super, super happy with it. Well, I'm happy with it. This is definitely the scariest piece for these guys to move. Like I said, they had to go through the snow around my house. And uh, like he was saying, if they would have lifted this the wrong way, like this vein right here, that's more likely where it would have cracked. And, uh, yeah, now I get to see my cabinets. When they did the old counters, they came down. They're only like a quarter inch above this door. Yeah, they'll call 
everything and seal everything off. I hope they do. Because, uh, yeah, I believe they're going to grab this this piece next. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at all the old countertops. There's the old countertops. They said it was just like the hardy board was just stapled to it. Just complete garbage. And behind the sink, that piece right there, there's a little bit of mold starting. Just starting. But there was no mold on the wood. And, uh, yeah, everything is in uh, uh, pretty good shape. I wonder if they need this uh, lifter tool here. Let me go down and bring it, bring it to them. So... We'll see you back when they bring the next piece. All right, they got the other big piece in. I think I know they came past, and that machine that he used. It's just amazing how perfect that is. Just perfect. Everything fit so nice. It changes the whole look of the kitchen. It actually brightens it up, and that's without the backsplashes on. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Who in the right mind? Why would anyone do tile granite counters in a kitchen on the countertop? I don't know. But they're putting stuff away and uh, they're going to get glue or whatever they do to adhere it down. And um, yeah, so they're getting close. They're getting a lot closer. Yeah, yeah it's got a 15 year warranty on it. So it stuff's insane. It's really good. As long as you don't use anything like acidic, you know, bleaches. Citric acid. Yeah, nothing with citric acid, yeah. lemons, limes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your pro your tomatoes too. Yeah, tomatoes. tomatoes. Oh, so just so cut them on a cutting board? Yes. Yep. Yes. Most definitely. How okay, you, that's good to know. Because tomatoes, a lot of people don't think about tomatoes. Hmm. Tomatoes full of citric acid. Got it. So that, that they'll destroy it. Well, I'll show you a cleaner that I use for granite, you know, once uh, in a little while, not yeah. right now, but yeah. the silicone in the top of the sink, and they'll cinch the thing up to the underside. Oh, man. It's been a long time waiting. See, like back in the day, you guys are very young but back in the day they had double bowl sinks yeah and the reason like in the 70s and 80s what we did that the left sink was to wash your dishes you filled up with soap and water mm. and you wash your dishes in that and then you would rinse in the right side of the sink and then you would put it in the dish rack yeah that's how my grandma's house yep okay. that's why the double bowl sink was uh -huh. so popular that's how it was done because there wasn't this guy the dishwasher to do all the work for you yeah and uh now with dishwashers and the single bowl, oh man, I put one in the kitchen downstairs and I love it. <laughs> yeah. So and he's gonna cinch that. He's got a cool, cool little thing. Be careful with that wood piece. Yeah, the, the twist is closer. Alright, Logan's gonna drill.
that's the finish guys new granite countertops no more tile it's all gone we got that little piece we have room for the stove backsplashes are all on I had them make them four and a half inches tall instead so we didn't know what everything was going to look like after the tile came out ended up working out really well and here's the faucet single faucet with a single bowl sink I'll wait till tomorrow to reinstall the garbage sink disposal and that's that that's our new kitchen these guys did a great job demo was um, actually a lot, lot better than they ex expected that way I put like a couple screws in a particle board and then the hardy board they just stapled it it's actually surprising um, how long things lasted for but um, yeah on that note hey thanks for uh, uh, following along with this video hope you enjoyed it and uh, and that'll be it that'll be it on the new countertops and that's uh, that'll be a wrap don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, give a shout out to uh, Mountain Aspen Granite out here in Woodland Park. And they did a fantastic job. Uh, the guys had to walk around the whole house. We, well, they were on the wheels, but still. We had some snow, made it a little bit more challenging. But other than that, um, that's it. That's the, uh, the new counters of, of the house. We'll see you on the next one.